Well, hopefully the second league goes better than the last one. Let's spin. Infect. All right, so this is Popper Infect. It's much like Infect in every other format, except that the notable things that this version of Infect is missing are Ink Moth Nexus and the Hierarchs. But aside from that, it's most of all the same cards. So we've got Glistener Elf, Blighted Agent, Iker Clawmer, and Blight Mamba as our Infectors. And then we've got all of our pump spells, so Mutagenic Growth and Biggin, Groundswell, Might of Old Crosa, and then Snakeskin Veil and Vines of Vastwood to protect our creatures from removal. Also Spell Pierce to protect from removal or just hit other things. And then we've got Distortion Strikes to get our guys that aren't Blight Agent through blockers. Forests and Islands. And then over here, we have in the sideboard a Null for the Artifact decks, Blue Blast for the red decks, Dispel, another Spell Pierce, and Turn Aside as more pieces of counter magic. We've got Nature's Claim, once again, for Artifact Enchantment decks, and Weather the Storm for aggro races, and that's Infect. Does this feel, format feel fresh and more competitive compared to Legacy and Modern? Yes. So, name sticker goblin aside, there isn't all the horse shit that's in all of those other formats that is ruining them, and in particular, because of the texture of the format and not having access to rares, you get mostly decks that are either synergy based or at least they're built around putting together something like you typically don't just have one big threat the the biggest threats are like the fish out of the delver decks or something all right hand looks great we've got infectors we've got protection we've got pump spells looks good to me forest into arbor elf all right well we're probably playing against what ponza so land glistener elf then back over to them Second Forest, Wild Growth, mm-hmm. We do have this stuff, though. Monvoli Acid Moth, yep. Well, we do have that horseshit in this format. Why do they print LD at all? Like, just don't, just stop printing it. Please just stop. All right, Distortion Strike, I got nothing else to do. Because no matter how much you cost it at, someone's going to figure out a way to cheat the LD, to ramp into the LD. It's the same thing with, like, giant bombs like Atraxa. Oh, and they have Scred, too. Like, no matter what you cost, yeah, okay. I'm done here. Okay, uh, let's see. Turn aside is permanent, period, right? So turn aside, spell pierce, and I don't want to bring nature's claim in just to hit wild growth and utopia sprawl. So these, what comes out? I assume they don't have as much creature removal, although they obviously have some. Just like stop printing strategies. Just don't print strategies that players don't like. Just stop it. Oh, it's fine. The LD's four mana. No, it's not. Oh, uh, let's see. I don't think I can take out any infectors. So what's the worst pump spells in our deck? Is it Groundswell? All right, let's cut Groundswell. All right, well, keep this. So land, elf, over to them. Land, elf. So do I just hold up Spell Pierce or do I just play Blighted Agent? I guess I just have to play hold up Spell Pierce, right? So combat, swing with Glistener Elf. They are blocking. All right, Snakeskin Veil, kill their elf and back to them. I do agree that in Pioneer you have to maneuver around dumb cards less. You're not just seeing the Scam Gang, Leyline Binding, Ragavan, Bowmasters ring every game. Matches don't degenerate as often as into non-games. Uh, I will respectfully disagree, sir. Have you heard of Nykthos? Have you heard of Karn? Have you heard of Lotus Field? Have you heard of Grease Fang? Have you heard of Mayhem Devil? All right, and Biggin combat and then i think we just have to keep holding up blue although maybe not yeah you know what let's just play blighted agent this turn arbor elf arbor elf all right so this is main phase right oh so i just yeah might this and then they die okay game three same thing run it back okay so we're missing blue mana but other than that i don't think i can just toss this hand like it's okay i'll keep arbor elf play glistener land utopia sprawl yep are we getting Pawns it out. Red. They're just not going to cast anything? That doesn't make any sense. They have four mana. They have to have something to cast. Yeah, there we go. Scred. All right. Mutagenic to keep it alive. Untap the land. Breath weapon. All right. At least they lose the elf. So this, Blight Mamba. Go. Arbor elf. All right. There's blue finally. Combat. Swing. What are the odds they have another breath weapon? Let's play Blighted Agent. Over to them. Even if they do, I can might the Blighted to keep it alive. Wild Growth. All right, so a lot of mana. Is it going to be into the boarding party? Munvoli Acid Moss. All right, 
Well, at least they don't have anything. So might and go combat, swing all. They're at seven poison. They do have to find like outs pretty fast. Scred our blighted agent, sure. Combat, swing with the mamba. If they don't block, we vines them. If they do block, we just regenerate. All right, regenerate. All right, now they're drawing off the top. What do they got? Breath weapon, of course. What an insane draw. Just all interaction. All right, another land, go. Land our visionary. All right, we drew blue. Play blighted. Over to them. I think we're good if we can survive a turn. We have vines to keep it alive. All right, yeah, vines. So distortion strike gets this up to, gets them to nine poison. Like spell pierce is not even good anymore, right? They have so much mana. All right, distortion strike here. Go to combat. Swing. All right, they got to draw an interaction spell off the top. All right, we got it. Round two. All right, on the play for round two. Uh, yeah, I guess this is fine. It's obviously high on lands, but otherwise it's pretty good. Ponimals to five. Forest, Glistener Elf. Over to them. No, I actually shouldn't uh, F5 through this. Ornithopter. Attacking. I could block and kill this. If we draw Distortion Strike, how much damage do I do? Six, seven, eight. Yeah, all right, I won't block it. Well, we're drawing nothing, so... Um, go to combat. Swing. All right, well, I'm not going to cast Mutagenic Growth here, so that's fine. Ornithopter. Well, Affinity putting a whole bunch of blockers in the way is kind of a problem. Oh, they're attacking with the Thopter, so they have a ninja. All right. Uh, mm hmm. Ornithopter comes back. Man, all right, we've drawn nothing but islands, so that sucks. Well, at this point, I'm not even doing anything. I guess I just block this ninja and then pump, because I'm not winning this, this infect race here when they can draw cards every turn. Springleaf drum. Thought cast. Plays another Seed of the Synod. Oh, there's another ninja. Cool. All right. Mm hmm. Ornithopter comes back. Another Ornithopter. All right, can I draw anything? All right, that's finally a thing. So I guess I just keep waiting until I can, like, distortion strike through their board. All right, let's say, if I, let's assume I attack, right? If they block, they'll just block with, like, Ornithopter or something. And then I'll have to pump it to kill the Ornithopter. Like, that's just so bad. I guess there's a possibility they don't block, but they've got to block here, right? And then they just get to keep attacking with these ninjas to draw cards. Ugh. Well, this here is plus eight, so... All right, let's attack. We're just not going to win this game anyway, so whatever. Yeah, block. Oh, they're blocking with multiple? Why? Um, They're blocking with multiple ornithopters? All right, I'll just embiggen here. Yeah, all right, let's reduce your amount of artifacts. Of one mind, ornithopter. We got a glitters. Yep, there's glitters. Oh, we actually just die on the board, right? 9, 11, 13, 14. Yeah, we're actually just dead. Cool. All right, nature's claim. Spell pierce so that we can counter all the glitters. Annul. What am I getting rid of? Definitely want to keep Distortion in. Regenerating doesn't matter in this matchup. I don't think they have that much that actually targets onboard stuff, right? The stuff that they have is counter spells. Maybe they have Journey to Nowhere. Got Snakeskin, Brown Squall. All right, let's do that. Well, this is awkward, but I'm not throwing it back. Land, Glistener Elf, go. Ancient Den, Ginger Brute. All right, let's attack. If they block, we pump. Oh, they're not going to block. All right, Ground Swell. And then it's only nine if I'm big in here, so let's just not... Let's just nature's claim their land. All right, over to them. See to the Synod. No blocks from the Ginger Brute. No, they're attacking with the Ginger Brute. Oh, they're going to Ninja. All right. There's Otherwise, there's no reason for them to attack here. Ninja. Draw a card. They just don't have a land. All right. Well, and begin. Combat. That seems so greedy. I guess they just realized, like, if all they're doing is blocking, they're not going to win the game anyway. All right. Run it back. Can't keep that. So that was cool. We just switched two cards. All right. Mull this again. How are we not drawing any green sources? All right, whatever. Keep, what am I tossing back? Glistener Elf, since I'm not going to play it on turn one anyway. And Groundswell? All right, Island, go. See to this an odd. Ginger Brute. All right, let's counter that. All right, let's play Blighted Agent. Darkseal Citadel. Thoughtcast. Ornithopter. All right, Mind of Old Crosa here. Combat. Swing. All right, five poison. Cast Iker Clomber. Over to them. Plays another tap land. Mer Enforcer. All right, double mutagenic growth. Let's go for it. They only have one mana open. Combat. And let's play around Metallic Rebuke by paying the life for both of them. All right, mutagenic, mutagenic. All right, we got it. On to round three. All right, on the play for round three. Uh, again, we're missing blue, but this is keepable. Land go. Well, affinity again. Ornithopter. All right, land, Ikerclomber, go. All right, ginger brute, ninja. Mm-hmm. Draw. See to the Synod. Replays ginger brute. All right. Frogmite, mm-hmm. All right, combat, swing with Iker Claw. Blocks with Ornithopter, okay. Kill this Ornithopter off. Re 
play a second Iker Claw over to them. Of one mind. I think if they attack, I just don't block. Attacks with Ninja. Yeah, no blocks. Oh, Ninja the Ninja. Sure. So they draw. Plays a tap land. All right. So now we get to attack with both the Iker Claw Mers, and we can potentially kill both of their guys. I don't know. Oh, we're just drawing forests. All right. Well, forest combat. Swing, swing. Will they double block one of them? No. They're just going to lose both of their artifact creatures? Okay. Well, damage. Kill both your guys. Back to them. So they can keep looping the ninjas now to draw more cards if I don't block them, which I'm not. Thought cast. Mer Enforcer. So they're just not attacking anymore. Ugh. Um, all right. Go to combat. Swing, swing. Block, block, trigger. All right, we got to keep this alive. So let's groundswell this. Damage, kill both your dudes. Back to them. Springleaf Drum. Plays the ninja. And then taps for another Mer Enforcer. Okay. Finally drew an island. So let's continue attacking them. And we will save this. All right, so save it. Keeps the Mer Enforcer out of, off the field. And we play Blighted Agent over to them. There's an argument to not do that and like wait to just just like might have old crows of the blighted agent but we're in a pretty good position they're just like not able to block us apparently all that glitters well now we're in a worse position oh they're not attacking us though huh well i probably have to just hold a blocker back in case they kill us at some point so let's distortion strike there combat swing swing we just need to get max damage in so i have to snake skin this right now so snake skin the blighted agent all right damage they to five poison and we have Four poison next turn. Another all that glitters. Well, now we have to block. Ornithopter. Of one mind. <sighs> Ornithopter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Block. Top deck a, bur a uh, pump spell. I guess I can still block one more turn, right? So we rebound on Blighted Agent, I think. Yeah. Rebound on Blighted Agent. Another Blighted Agent. All right. Go to combat. Swing. So they're at eight poison. Play another Blighted Agent. And then we've got one turn to block and then one tur more turn to kill them. Swinging here, all right, so block this. Then Ninja the Ornithopter, so they get to draw a card. Plays Thraven Inspector, crack the clue. All right, we got game one, pretty close game. So again, Nature's Claim in, Turn Aside in, Spell Pierce in, Annul in, Blight Mamba out, and what did I do last time? Snake Skin out, Groundswell out. All right, submit, this is fine. Keep, tap land, Ornithopter. All right, land, elf, go. And then this, and then the ninja. They draw. Thraven Inspector. Ornithopter. Frogmite. All right, well, Glistener Elf's not attacking. So land, Blighted Agent. Over to them. Thraven Inspector. Land. Swing, swing. Well, there's another ninja coming, but we may as well block this. I guess there isn't another ninja coming. Huh. Why didn't they attack with Frogmite then? Okay, so we got to embiggen this turn with double spell Pierce up and then Vines next turn. So combat, swing. All right, cast and biggin. So five poison, back to them with double spell pierce. And then next turn, vines. Cracks the clue. Cracks the clue. See to the synod. Swing all there. We go to 13. All right, kick vines here. Go to combat. Swing. All right, 10 poison. Who knew infect would do us so well? On to round number four. And you know what? I haven't played against infect once in all of these leagues so far. We've played, before this, 17 leagues. Not once have I played against infect. All right, we have a Blighted Agent, so, and a bunch of pump spells, so this seems fine. Keep planes into Relic. Main deck Relic. All right, Forest, go. Great Furnace. Iker Wellspring. I think I'm going to delay playing Blighted Agent for a turn because I, if it dies, I can't win anymore. So let's delay it so that I can hold open Mana to protect it. Tapped, Lorehold Campus. All right, Spell Pierce that. All right, Land, Blighted Agent. Over to them. Ancient Den. Krark Clan Shaman, the one thing that can that can kill this? God damn it. Oh. So I have to respond with a pump spell, and then they'll do it on my upkeep, and I have to respond with another pump spell? <sighs> they actually have four artifacts in play. All right, so let's... My God. All right, let's embiggen in response. Oh, they just have a bolt anyway. Literally cannot beat Krark Clan Shaman. Yeah, literally can't beat Krark Clan Shaman. Let's just concede. All right, now what? Nature's Claim, um, probably actually don't want Spell... Uh, maybe I do want Spell Pierce, I don't know. Blue Blast, so I need Blue Blast to kill that. Let's cut Spell Pierce, cut... What else? Groundswell's our worst pump spell. One Blight Mamba. All right, let's submit that. Yikes, no green. All right, well, keep... Island Go. Plays a tap land. Play Blighted Agent. Bolt. All right, double Mutagenic to keep it alive. And they just have another Bolt anyway. Yep, all right, back to them. 
Boros Garrison pick a land up. Can't do anything. Back to them. This seems like impossible to win. They're a deck that has at least, what, eight bolts plus Krok Clan Shaman, so we can't ever, like, keep a guy alive on the board ever. I am not going to play Blight Mamba because it's just going to die. So let's wait until we have an, at least another green land. All right, Blighted Agent. Oh, Pyroblast, sure. Back to them. Then back to us. Then back to them. Standard Bearer. Well, absolutely unwinnable match now. All right, Blight Mamba. Literally, literally impossible to win this matchup. I guess the Snakeskin Veils have to target the Blight Mamba. So they can't redirect to Standard Bearer. Go to combat. Swing. I assume they just won't block. All right, let's just hit them. Oh, I should have Distortion Striked. Whatever. Attacks with Standard Bearer. All right, go to 15. All right, Distortion... Oh, I have... Right, because Distortion Strike targets that. Oy. All right, well, attack with Blight Mamba. And, I don't know, play Glistener Elf. Over to them. Lemboss. They did top it. Core Skyfisher. Glaze Lemboss. And now we can't even really attack them anymore either. Braven Inspector. Plays a land. Plays another Skyfisher. Bounces the Lemboss. All right, I can't just keep not doing anything. I'm going to Snakeskin Veil my Snake. All right, back to us. Well, we drew all the Snakeskin Veils in the universe. So, combat. Swing with Blight Mamba. Blocks there, blocks there. Okay, let's regenerate. All right, well, they have the ability to block for a long time. Cracks the clue. Lemboss. Galvanic Blast. All right, well, regenerate. All right, there's another Blast. Mm-hmm. Lemboss. Furnace. The only way I can see myself winning this is if I draw Blighted Agent. No. Nature's Claim. Doesn't even help. All right, combat. Swing. Blocks there. All right, Snakeskin Veil. Damage. Kill the Thraven Inspector, then back to them. No attacks. All right. Combat. Swing. Blocking there. Snakeskin Veil. Go to damage. All right, kill your Skyfisher, then back to them. Glint Hawk. Mm-hmm. Picks up the Lemboss. Plays the Lemboss. Synthesizer. All right, Synthesizer reveals Thraven Inspector. Thraven. Pop Synthesizer. I did debate Nature's Claiming it in respect. Oh, man, they revealed Clark Clan Shaman off the top of that. So then, yeah, and now our guy just dies. They have so many artifacts that they can just kill it whenever they want. All right, go to combat. Swing. They can just multi-block it. They don't even have to pop the Clark Clan. Yeah, all right, we can't win. Oh, wait, they're going to block with Clark Clan? All right, put that in front here, and then let's kill the Samurai. I'm surprised they're blocking with Clark Clan. All right, kill that, play another Glistener Elf. Cast into the fire. All right, Snakeskin Veil. Problem is we still can't even break through their board. Like, just Glint Hawk alone can block this. None of my pump spells can actually target my guy. Mm-hmm, more Glint Hawks. All right, we take damage from Glint Hawk. We go to 11. All right, like, we can't win. Let's just concede. All right, that was unwinnable. So move on to round number five. All right, on the play for round five. Uh, this is fine. Keep Forest Glistener Elf. Over to them. See to the Synod. Does this deck suffer from the wrong half of the deck problem? Yep, absolutely. Land Ornithopter, Ornithopter, Springleaf Drum, Frogmite. Are we out of spells yet, or can we keep playing more? Keep playing more. Thought cast. Jesus. All right, well, we're going to play Blighted Agent. Over to them. Swing with Ornithopter. Swing with both Ornithopters and Frogmite. <sighs> sure, yeah. So double Ninja. 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 Trigger, trigger. We go 14, they draw two cards. And then replay the Ornithopters. Thraven Inspector. I do have them dead over two turns with Blighted. So, Might of Old Crosa on Blighted Agent. Combat. Swing here. All right, take five poison, and then we get to have double spell pierce up in order to counter uh, all that glitters or removal, but probably just all that glitters. Cracks the clue. Swing with the ninjas. I'll block a ninja. All right, block a ninja. Just prevent them from looting once. Discards a land. All right, well, pretty sure they're dead. And begin. Go to combat. Swing. Why do people continue even if you, they don't have a way to interact? Like, why not just concede on the spot? All right. Uh, once again, Affinity, Nature's Claim, Annul, Spell Pierce, Blight Mamba out, Snakeskin out, Groundswell. And we played Affinity three times this league. Hmm. That is uh, that is a hand. I am going to keep it. Citadel, Ginger Brute, Ornithopter. All right. Land, Glistener Elf, go. Swing, no blocks. And they're not doing anything either, so I guess they're just holding up a counter spell. So, combat, swing, blocking with Ornithopter. Okay, play another Glistener Elf, plays another land. All right, Ginger Brute, guess they don't have a ninja. Man, they're still not doing anything. All right, combat, swing, they're not blocking. All right, play another Glistener Elf, plays another Ornithopter. Do they just have, like, all counters in their hand and they're just not countering our 1-1s? Or just Mer Enforcer, but they couldn't, yeah, Mer Enforcer, but they couldn't cast it until now? 
All right, let's try to kill it. And then if they have Metallic Rebuke, oh well. Mm -hmm. There's Metallic Rebuke. I think I still attack them anyway, just to get two more poison in this turn. Swing. Try as the Artifact Lands are allowed. They're fine, whatever. They're susceptible to Artifact Hate. Swings with Mer Enforcer and Ginger Brute. We go to 12. All right, well, we somehow cannot draw lands. So let's go to combat. Swing. Will they block? Block. Mm-hmm. Well, let's try to get some damage in. So let's embiggen this one. All right, Metallic Rebuke again. Mm-hmm. All right. All that glitters. Oh, we're actually dead. All right. Uh, Yeah, this is fine. Still run the same thing back. All right. Uh, Yeah, this is fine, I guess. This hand's actually not good. I have one pump spell and like no actual way to force through damage. Can't even cast the spell period. Yeah, this hand's not good. Let's mull. Okay, um, keep and toss one of the vines. Land, Glistener Elf. All right, tap land. We don't have another opportunity. All right, so play this, then attack with the Glistener Elf. Ikerclomber is at least decent at attacking them since it's hard for them to block it usually. Ancient Den, the ninja. Okay, I don't care if they hit us with the ninja. Ooh, I can nature's claim their land. Sweet. All right, so uh, make Glistener Elf unblockable and then go to combat, swing. I doubt they'll block. Yeah, they won't. All right, Nature's Claim this. Just need to slow them down, basically. I guess I could have also Nature's Claim this since technically it's an enchantment, but let's just hit their land. Well, they have another land anyway. All that glitters. Hmm. Well, all right. Discards a land. Rebound. Target here. We need to draw a forest or a pump spell. All right, play this. Go to combat. Swing. They are very close to dying from poison. Plays a tap land. Springleaf Drum. Thought Cast. Ornithopter. Oy. All right, no attacks from them. Spell Pierce. I have to just keep attacking them. So combat, swing. I think they have to block with Ornithopter, right? So they'll, sure. No, no blocks with the Ornithopter? Oh, yeah. So they they should just move it around so the Ornithopter doesn't die, even if it reduces how big Moon Circuit Hacker is. All right, we get one poison in this turn and reduce Moon Circuit Hacker to a 6-5. So back to them. Ginger Brute, all right. Attack with Moon Circuit Hacker and the Ornith... Oh, attacking with everything. All right, so they're going to ninja the Ornithopter, and then they will replay the Ornithopter as a blocker. Yeah, ninja. So trigger, trigger. Ornithopter returns. Need to draw a forest. Need to draw a forest. Springleaf drum. Do I counter this? I don't think I do. Yeah, that's fine. Mer Enforcer. Ugh. I, they could have played it anyway, but then they would have had to tap Ornithopter. I thought they already had enough artifacts. I guess they didn't. That is rough. Yeah, so I needed to spell pierce that. Well, we didn't draw j Jack anyway. So, all right, play Ikerclomber and go. Makes Ginger Brute unblockable, then swings there and there and there. So I'm forced to block multiple creatures. So I have to block here, have to block here, and then I take three and go to one. And then I have to find a way to make this unblockable. I guess if I draw Distortion Strike off the top, although if I draw Distortion Strike, then I have to go Shields down on the blue, which means they can counter it. Discards a land, Frogmite. There's Embiggen finally, but now it's too late. So yeah, got variance out of that game. Just never drew anything relevant until it was too late. Oh well. So 3-2 with Infect. It's fine. Obviously we're missing like the better spells in other formats. Also the mana's awkward because we don't have good dual lands. So then we get color screwed sometimes, which is just going to happen when you're playing a two color deck in this format. And I don't think you can really ever afford to cut blue from the deck, especially since Blighted Agent is your best infector. So that is going to be infect.